So I'm just going to quickly go on to Playtown. And it's crazy. So I don't know if you guys have seen this map, but like I said before, this map is very cool, man. Very, very cool map for sure. Whoever made this is legendary. I'm not even going to lie to you. <laughs> this is literally, guys, town, but on World at War. Now, we're going to see what we can try and do on this map. See if, it, hey, see if we could try and get a, a good round on this map. I don't know what, what kind of round we could get up to, but if this map plays just like it does on Black Ops 2, I reckon we could get up to a pretty decent round. You know what I mean? This is by the M14. Ah. Yo, that's so cool, dude. It has the BO1 sounding. Off shop for a monster. Oh, bro, a nice monster energy, man. I'm not going to lie, dude. A nice monster energy you're about to do would definitely do me for now. But I'd say, guys, like, in, in terms of your thoughts, like, you, what kind of other map would you guys want to see on World at War to be remastered, you know? Like, you can go all of the above. You can go on to Infinite Warfare, World War II. So we'd love to hear your guys' expressions for it, you know? That would be awesome to hear, I'd say. Hey, no way. we got Raiden just joined us. Yo. Oh, what a legend. No way, dude. I think you're going to really enjoy this, man. I'll open up some doors as well, man. Don't worry. Oh, the Bowie knife. You know what? Fair play. It might not be the best weapon for damage, but it's a decent weapon for mobility. Two, two knife? That ain't too bad. That ain't too bad. I've got you. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I've got you, mate. Oh, bloody hell. I tabbed out. Nah, nah, it's so cool. It's so cool. I got you, mate. Oh, come on. Oof. Oh, yeah. I'm feeling this right now. This is so cool, man. Man, this, this S12 is actually slapping. This S12 is actually slapping. Okay, right. It should be all good. I think with this map offering more, I'd say, guys, I wonder if we can find any parts or anything like that. Or do we just hop on, you know? that That's the interesting part I'm thinking. Do we just hop on this plane? From what it seems, we have to find parts or something like that. I reckon it's probably a, a ramp or something like that, if, if I do remember. You know, so many questions I, I, I have for this map. Like, do you see the other areas of, of transit on this map? Because you do on town, if you guys didn't know. Uh, well, I bought Jug and then tabbed out, then died. Oh, bro, I hate it when that happens. Like, you just tab out for like a quick second and then you come back and zombies are already just on top of you. Like, they are not giving you a breather. We got a max ammo as well. That is a W right there. With E saying, yo, I was just playing this map, bro. No way. He was actually just playing this map dude bro that is such a crazy coincidence he already knows that this map is goaded man this map it like I, this map offers more than just regular town i'd say and that's the cool bad part about this map you know the graphics are a little bit different obviously because it is world at war but this is why i love pc man you just you, you have so many options to do really what you were uh, what you want you know in terms of playing the game very cool, man. I, I honestly recommend whoever doesn't have a PC to get a PC. It's very, very cool. Just going to quickly pack a punch this gun. I'd say this gun seems to be pretty good. There's a button in the bank safe. Oh, really? A button in the bank safe? That might be connected to the Easter egg, I'd say, then, bro. That might be connected to the Easter egg, bro, because there's literally a plane over there, which is crazy. So, let's have a quick look. Tap to activate. So, what do we do? Do we open this up? Oh, okay, right, and you can actually go onto the plane, which is very, very cool. So I think if if Brandon wants to go on the plane now, he could do. But if he wants to try and grind some points up, um, oh, you know what? Yeah, screw it. Come in now. Let, let's hop on this right now. As you say, this is very interesting. Yeah, literally, we just came up to the button. It just started having that weird spinning wheel thing. And then, yeah, it, it just activated the plane for some odd reason. But it's literally like Mob of the Dead, Cross Town, I guess, with a little bit of an Origins vibe, because it has the Origins starting uh, round music, which is very cool. Hey, Alex as well coming in. We're on a bit of town, but on World at War. I guess town, mob of the dead, whatever this whatever this map is. We're playing town, but on World at War. Now we're in. But it's a bit more than town. It, it, it This map offers more, you know what I mean? It's very cool map. Didn't know it activated the plane. Literally, did it activates the plane, and it sends us over to different areas. Oh, we can return over here, I'd say, as well, Brain, if you're interested. Nice one. Let's, let's skedaddle out of here, I'd say. Bushroot B. Oh, no way. I guess, yeah, this is this is what Bushroot B was meant to be, you know? We've just returned back into town. That's so cool, man. That is so sick. Personally, I think if they were to add a Shadows of Evil on World at War, I think that would be interesting. I feel like the vibe and the theme would be really cool because um, Shadows dates back into the timeline as in the 1930s, you know? So that would be really cool, I'd say. Satchel charge required. So we've even got more things we can do. Oh, this table? You know what? It might be parts we have to find, I'd say. 
and it can't be too hard to find and stuff. We either have to find it on the map town or it's going to be um, in this area. I'm pretty sure there's other areas you can teleport to. This is not just the area. Hey, I mean, we got strained in the game. Um, I did the easter egg for this map. No way. There is actually an easter egg for this map then. Honestly, I, the more we talk about this map, the more I know about this map. It's the more I'm mind blown for it. Like, I honestly just thought this was just a small custom map. I wonder what the easter egg would be like, you know. Don't my cat. <laughs> God, you got this. Oh my God. I mean, it's not hard. You got it. Yeah, you guys already did most of it. Really? We've already, like, already mostly done it. Can't really imagine seeing a cutscene. At the end of this campaign, probably just like an end game or something like that. So we have to go over, activate the plane. I think we might have to skip the round. You already went back there. Yeah, I think I think we already went back there, and a Braden might have already picked up a bomb. I think. Let's take the plane. Yeah, yeah. Let, let, let's rock with the plane, Adsa. So let's see what we can try and do. Oh, what the hell? Oh my god. Well, I think we've done something. It's now blue. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yeah, this is this is where we spawned in last time. What the heck? Oh, we've got a. Uh, I don't even know who that guy is. Adolf Schwartz or something. <laughs> oh, so then 4K says you go ahead and go into the bar and to the crafting table bench you place it onto him. But okay, so it's that simple. I think we've already done the step where we place the uh, part. It will end the map. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? Oh, okay. Now it's over. Well, that was one fast game right there, dude. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That was Town on World at War Zombies. A lot different than the original version of Town with places you can go, teleportation, things like that. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, feel free to hit the like and subscribe, guys. It would be much appreciated for the channel's growth. But other than that, though, guys, I'll catch you on the next one. Have a great day over there.